Hello there, everyone. Today, this is going to be uh, a video from All About Cameras. Person. Uh, this is going to be a full computer build, including the unboxing. As of right here, you can see me. I am unboxing the computer case. Had a little bit of a mess up here. It's uh, This is a Roswell uh, computer case. It is uh, around $40 on Newegg, I believe. Uh, it is, uh, as you can see, I'm unboxing right now. It comes in uh, pretty nice packaging. There was foam and instruction sheet right next to me. There's also some nice uh, wrap on the outside. And uh, as you can see of a little bit right now, the case doesn't, uh, when I first looked at it, it looked a lot nicer than it did online. It looked a lot better than a $40 case, especially one that comes with a 400 watt power supply. Uh, next thing I do, I'm going to unbox all the hardware that I got. Uh, yes, I am unboxing it with a uh, sword sort of thing. I guess, uh, sword, sword, uh, that sounds kind of funny. Uh, sorry about this, this is the Nikon D5100 autofocus, so uh, if you guys have seen my other videos on the D5100, you can, uh, you know, just know. The first thing we pull out is an AMD A4 3300 uh, APU, of course. This is going to be 2.5 gigahertz dual core with AMD Radeon. It is uh, 6450. Next thing we have in here is, uh, I believe this is the RAM. This is going to be G Skill Ripjaw Gaming Series RAM. It is four gigabytes dual channel of uh, 1600 PCI 3 12,800. <coughs> Please excuse my cough. I'm a bit sick. But uh, as you can see here, that's what the box looks like. This also, for some reason, looked better in person than it did online. It looked more glossy. Next thing I have is a Asus DVD burner 18 times, which is a uh, an OEM version, so it didn't come in any uh, regular fancy packaging. And then after that, this is a Hitachi 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM HDD. It is uh, about eighty dollars on Newegg right now. It's one of the cheapest I could find. That was uh, quite reliable as of uh, the recent floods in Thailand and whatnot. And that's what it came in, as you can see. Uh, I think there was a few other things in here. Uh, yes, this is my motherboard. As you can see, it's the A75MH. It's from Biostar. Uh, it's a very, very cheap motherboard that uh, does pretty well. And this is going to be how you open up the case. This is me opening it up for the first time. In the back, just regular screws as you'd expect. And then you go ahead and slide it back. There's a little bit of a handle grip there for you. And then you pull it right off. And then inside the case, you're greeted by some uh, cables. A, of course, uh, AC. Uh, adapter cable. There's going to be some screws right there. Uh, and right here also is some instruction manual. <coughs> More instructions. Uh, there's the screws right there, as you can see. Uh, all your motherboard pins and everything like that. And there's also some uh, power connectors for the LED for on the top, on the front of the case for the power, which happens to be blue in case you're wondering. And also the USB. 2.0 ports and the audio in and out ports. Uh, there's one case fan, which is a bit of a disappointment, but for $40, I mean, you can't really expect too much. And you can see this is a 400 watt Roswell built in power supply. Uh, more, another view of the screws. There is one internal HDD slot for three and a half inch drives, which is kind of a disappointment also. But then again, you gotta remember, $40. This is gonna be the unboxing of the motherboard, which is, uh, as you can see, this is the outside box of it. It is for uh, FM1 inputs, I believe. Yes, which would be APU. Now on the back, I liked how the uh, how it looked. It's a, uh, I don't know if you were to notice, but it's, it's an iPhone, basically. It, look, it looks like an iPhone with the uh, everything set up. These are all the things it does. It has SATA 3, it's got, um, it's, you can update your BIOS online, charger booster, USB 3.0, which has two USB 3.0 ports. And then I go ahead and open it up, and uh, you're greeted by a manual. I blurred it out here so you guys can't get my serial number. <laughs> and then you also have a uh, BIOS, uh, I'm sorry, not BIOS, drivers. And then we have two SATA 6 gigabit cables which is uh, fairly nice, and of course your I.O. panel, if you didn't see me grab that. And this is the motherboard itself. I go ahead and pull it out here. I was a little bit uneasy about pulling it out, as it is uh, my first build. 
And then I uh, go ahead and pull it back over here and uh, you can see me slide it out of the plastic casing. And as you can see right here, we have six SATA 6 gigabit ports, which is uh, very nice for a motherboard around this price range. Uh, I think about $80, uh, I think maybe less. So there's our two USB 3.0, our RJ45, our VGA, DVI, and HDMI, along with two more USB 2.0 ports and uh, a PS2 for keyboard and mouse. We have our PCI Express 2.0 ports, PCI slots, and uh, etc. Of course, the motherboard. And then uh, there was also, I don't know if you saw there, the two RAM sticks. This is going to be the unboxing of the AMD APU. Go ahead and open up the box here. Took me a little bit of time because I didn't want to be. Uh, I'm uncareful with this side. Paid extra attention to this. You get a nice little AMD Vision sticker. And uh, of course, a little bit more important than that underneath is the CPU itself. After that, we have a instructions manual. That was holding upside down. <laughs> and then after that, of course, we are going to have your heat sink, which uh, one thing about this, when you pull it out, um, I messed up when I pulled out mine. I, I'm not gonna lie. I touched the thermal paste with my finger uh, a little bit. You'll see it when I pull it out because I wanted to. I didn't. I assumed it wasn't pre-applied. <laughs> As you can see right there is where I did it. Uh, very bad error on my part. Won't happen again now that I know. But um, yes, this uh, it's a very loud fan. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> After I've been using it for a few days. And then this is the unboxing of the RAM, you know, not much to this except for it's RAM. Uh, you should get you know, a little back plating. And then of course you get your two RAM sticks in there. And uh, you can see the RAM, the glossy finish to it. These are two gigabyte uh, sticks. As I mentioned before. D5100 autofocus here. Sorry about that, guys. And then also in the box, uh, you have your nice little G-Skill RAM sticker, which is, uh, you know, I guess a little nice thing. <laughs> I like the stickers they come with, I guess. Now after this, this was an extreme pain to open on video. This is the, uh, my Asus DVD burner, of course. I actually cut out, like, 30 to 40 seconds of that. And this is a uh, SATA, of course, and it comes with a nice little uh, like power efficiency and drivers and stuff like that on a disc. And then as you can see here, it's uh, just you know it's a DVD burner, not much to say. It's 16 times it's SATA, and that's a uh, it's about all to say about it. <laughs> all right, now this is me installing the RAM. Cut out a little bit so you guys don't have to watch me installing it. it just that's what it looks like in the motherboard. Next thing I install, I think, is the CPU, I believe. Yes, it is the CPU. Alright, so, after uh, I figured out which way it all lines up, I went ahead and uh, installed this into the motherboard. As you can look at all the pins here and whatnot. This is me trying to figure out how to line it up. Don't worry, I cut out most of it for you guys so that the video wouldn't be over 15 minutes, which I was really hoping it wouldn't be. Alright, so then I put up my latch. I set down the CPU, just let it lay flat, kind of pressed it a little bit firmly, and then brought down my latch, and everything was secure. Uh, not much to that one. Uh, the cooling fan was a bit harder for me to put in as a first-time builder. I was a little bit confused about this, but uh, I ended up getting it in the end as uh, I noticed little latches on the side had to be on. And as you can see, I'm fiddling around with the little thing right there until I got it and then I finally realized what I had to do. So that might be something to be aware of if you're a first time builder like I am, or was I guess you could say. And I was like ta-da when I did this. <laughs> and then um, of course I plugged in the power connector for this. For the fan of course, not for anything else. Uh, next thing I did was insert my 
uh, dry burner. Of course, I just slid off the front of the case and then uh, just came right off. These are my motherboard pins that I installed. Uh, they, these all come in the uh, case in the bag of screws, of course. And this uh, case only supports micro ATX. I don't know if I mentioned that before. And uh, flex ATX. And then I installed my 3.5 inch drive. I secured it. Plugged in my I.O. panel. Secured my motherboard after my I.O. panel was installed with all the uh, pins. You know, screwed everything in. And as you can see here, I'm just uh, going through making sure it's all secure. Uh, sorry about my cameraman here, guys. And I, I did speed this up in case any of you guys are wondering. Thought it'd be kind of boring to watch me, you know, screw in screws for a couple minutes. <laughs> I'm very slow. Plugged in my two SATA um, cable devices and where they're supposed to go. My power connector, of course, for my CPU and, of course, the actual motherboard, the 24 pin. Plugged in my SATA power, plugged in my power into the motherboard for lights and etc. And the audio and things like that. Case was almost done. We did some zip tying. Uh, not very good cable management in this case. So uh, that means actually there's no cable management. It's all up to you and your zip ties. And this case only comes with two zip ties, which is a bit of a problem for me. I had to use a lot more, so I had to get some from my garage. But that's about all for the case. And after this, we are going to uh, the case the computer. That's the finalized build. We're going to go ahead and go into post. <laughs> Go into the BIOS, and you can watch. I go to the screen. Sorry about it being so dirty. I uh, didn't really you know, think about that. And then as you can see, that's what it looks like. And the uh, computer's done. But all right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is going to be my video. Leave, comment, subscribe right below. Uh, goodbye.